Today I take on Sealed Only in Master Duel. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm taking on Sealed Only in Master Duel, the newest Yu-Gi-Oh hyped up game that everyone's playing. So if you've not heard of Sealed Only, Nim Nim made this idea famous a couple of years ago when he made a Sealed Only series with actual Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But with the new Master Duel coming out, I figured we could do that concept inside of Master Duel and make a fun series. I am gonna be doing a giveaway so that if you guys wanna do this Sealed Only as well, I'm gonna be giving away $25 to one of you guys you guys can spend it on your master duel and you can do the same exact thing all you have to do is like this video be subscribed and let me know how we can improve this series if you guys want to see another one etc in the comments so what we're going to do is we are going to go to the gym shop everything we open will be the only things we can use in our duel today we're going to spend this 25 we're going to open up as many packs as we can get from the master duel shop and then we're going to duel with what we get on the ladder i just purchased 1400 gems keep in mind it is 1400 i have more because obviously i've played the game outside of this but we're doing 1400 gems is all we can spend today all right so let's go over to the shop let's see what we could get so with 1400 usually you want to buy a thousand gems at a time you want to use those to get 10 packs so you get a guaranteed super rare I, we might go with the master duel pack or do we want to go for one of these other two so what we have we have master duel which we can buy 10 and we will get a guaranteed super rare which is nice and then we could go one pack so we're gonna have four packs and then a, probably a pack of 10 i think we start with the master duel packs do four packs see if we can unlock an archetype that we actually want to play and then use our 10 openings on that once once you unlock one super or ultra from one of the archetypes you want to play that allows you to get a separate set that is mostly based on that archetype so that's what we want to aim for so we're going to start with the master duel pack let's do one pack and let's see if we can pull anything this will be our first of our 1400 gems this costs us 100 so let's open this up let's see what we can pull so we have let's see we're going to do it one at a time because we got to build the uh the suspense up so we have to get a super rare really to actually matter so none of this stuff we can technically play it but none of it actually unlocked anything we did get an ebon illusion magician if we're gonna play like dark magician somehow i doubt it okay we didn't get much out of that one let's go to our second pack let's hope we can at least get a you know decent deck let's see okay we got a super rare this time let's see what we got let's just go across that time okay so it looks like we got a goki octo stretch cool and let's see what the super rare is raid raptor call okay we unlocked raid raptor so do we want to go for that that might be our only option let's go to the next pack give us something good oh it's not looking good eco oh my gosh this is not going well guys all right one more pack before we might have to go all in on raid raptor and see what we can do let's see it's going to be tough to actually build a deck out of this few cards 25 bucks really doesn't give you a lot of gems it's better to go with the free gems in this game i think oh no oh no okay so it looks like we got to go with the raid raptor pack as you can see here the only super we got was raid raptor so we unlocked the invulnerable iron rings wings which does have a lot of raid raptor support in here the question is how much are we gonna get let's see uh are there any cards we yeah some of these but the problem is all the decent stuff is high rarity this is gonna be insane are we gonna actually be able to win a game i don't think so but we're gonna spend our 1000 gems here let's go all right uh we're going all in i don't know if this is the right call let me know what you guys think we should have done let's go let's see what we can pull we get another dragon maid. Okay, if we end up with dragon maids, you guys saw it. We played them in the auction series and they were not that bad. We did get a lot of raid raptor stuff here. The sharp lanius, last tricks, and fuzzy lanius. If we can get any of the extra deck stuff, it's going to be great. I think we could actually do okay and win a couple games. All right, we got a super rare. That's good. Or an ultra. Dogmatic of punishment could be good if we get something. Oh, a mechaba. Oh, no. <laughs> This, this is going to be a thing I just added to the series. If we pull like multiple supers that we don't want, we can trade them in for something that we do want. You know, it is sealed only, but it's Master Duel. So you get the fact that you get to trade them in. It's a lot. We're going to be probably doing that with that Mechaba. Okay, we got, uh, what, one super so far? Okay, we got some more Raid Raptor stuff. That's cool, but we actually need something they can go into because we need some XCs or something. All right, so Mystic Swordsman level six. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, a Raid Raptor Stranger Falcon. Okay, what is this one? Two level fives. Okay, aren't they normally level fours? I don't know. Okay, this is probably not the generic one we want, but it is an exceeds. It's an option. I'm getting kind of nervous. We need something good, guys. Okay. Another Raid Raptor there. Very cool. There's a replica. What does this one do? Oh, okay. We're rainbow. Does that mean we have something? Bujinki hair. Oh, Masterpiece, the true Draco. Whoa. Wait, is this, is this banned? I don't know. Uh, we also got a Blaze Falcon, which is cool. That's level fives. What's up with all the level fives? Aren't they normally level four? All these other ones are level four. Come on. Okay, another rainbow. That's looking good. Problem is we're going to have no interruptions for anything. This is going to be an issue. Uh, Raider's Wing. Cool. El <laughs> Shadal Construct. Oh, this is great for my Shadal Invoked uh, deck, but it is not good for this at all. We're down to three packs, guys. This is, get this is getting interesting for sure. 
All right, next we have... Okay, Wild Vulture. We got a Raider's Wing and a Fuzzy Lanius. Okay. Please give us something. It's going to be tough because, like, I think I'm in gold, so we're not, like, in scrub territory right now. We have a lot of Raider's Wing. We have a lot of those. And the final pack, our last chance to actually get something good. All right, come on. We got two We got two chances here. Two chances. Sergeant Electro. Okay, Phantom Knights. Raid Raptors, Phantom Knights Claw. Okay, I didn't know Raid Raptors and Phantom Knights were actually related. That's interesting. All right, that's what we got. Let's see what we can build out of this. This is how we're going to do this. Because it's Master Duel, you can trade in stuff. We're going to be trading in some of our cards to get some other cards for the deck that makes it a little bit better. Because I know while it is sealed only, this is the Master Duel version. So it does have the little bit of a tweak. Because you're not really going to pull a lot in terms of the packs that we open to actually pull a real deck. But we can make it a little bit better by trading in some of the cards that we don't need to get a little bit better cards so first of all we're gonna get this raiders knight so we're gonna go back to what we have so we did pull three super rares. so we're gonna trade in this sergeant electro so if you don't know in master rule there is a dismantling system where you can dismantle three super rares to get one super rare of your choice so we're gonna dismantle this sergeant electro we're gonna dismantle this okay there is a shiny mechaba so let's go with this one we'll dismantle this mechaba we pulled one we're gonna have to dismantle our raid raptor super rare, but i think it's worth it it actually is 15 because it's glossy which is pretty cool so we're gonna dismantle that we're gonna go back here and get this raiders knight so we're going to use our 30 that we just created with our trade-in. We're going to add the Raider's Knight, and we're going to add that to our deck. Now, we only I think we only got two Ultras, so we can't get this Wise Tricks, unfortunately. But I think we can get some of these Normals and these Rares. So I think we're going to trade in some Normals and some Rares to grab some more XC's Monsters for our extra deck. All right, guys, this is an absolute nightmare of a deck. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be really hard to win a game because when you only have 1,400 gems, you don't get a lot. So we didn't really get any high rarity cards. So we're basically all normals and rares in the main deck. And then we've got a few higher rarity stuff that basically a lot of the stuff is only in here because we got Dogmatica Punishment, which is one of our only forms of removal in this deck. So we're just going to be pitching like Construct to destroy something 2,800 or less. Then we have a bunch of Raid Raptors. I do have these Goki Octo Stretches just because they can be activated from the hand and keep us from like dying basically we've got a few things like this guy can change to defense mode when it's summoned we're trying to get two monsters on the field to make the raiders knight which we traded in to get and then the raiders knight can bump up to like a level five we have a few of those if we run into like a meta deck we're in big trouble but i'm ready to try it out we're gonna go best of three against three random opponents assuming we can even win one game and get to the third game let's see what we can do all right guys let's hop into the duels let's see if we can win even get close with this deck this is gonna be an absolute nightmare let's get into this uh let's see how it goes what are we on we're on gold tier four so we're not all the way at the top so that's good i guess this is gonna be difficult if we run into somebody actually good okay he's using the rescue rabbit which is good that means he hasn't changed it from the very first one hopefully it's just another noob because do we want to go first i guess we have to want to go first i don't know this is gonna be interesting for sure to see what we get Oh my goodness. What are we going to do, guys? Okay, I think we can special summon Lanius, which is good if we special summon another Raid Raptors. This is pretty good because if we if this card is normal special summon this turn, you can special summon one level four or lower from your hand. So we can actually get three cards out there. We could set readiness so it can't be destroyed by battle. So I think we go ahead and normal summon the Vanishing Lanius. So he can activate his effect. This can also activate its effect. So I think we activate the Fuzzy Lanius. We special summon this. We can then special summon a Raider's Knight, which is pretty good because we can make it into the Xyz monster. So I think that we activate this effect, right? Uh, we special summon the Raider's Wing because if it's on the Xyz monster, it can't be targeted by card effects. We can now special summon our Raider's Knight, which I think is good. So we're going to go ahead and check that one off. We want this one to leave because it's going to get us a search. So let's go ahead and make that. I'm going to make the Raider's Knight. We can activate this effect, but the problem is if we rank up, then we are going to lose the monster. Honestly, I think we might just set. We do have to detach to... I guess we I guess we detach here. We're going to detach the Fuzzy Lanius because that's going to give us a search. I think we're going to special summon the Stranger Falcon. We're going to go in defense position. All right, we'll activate the Lanius. We're going to get another Lanius to our hand. And then we're going to pass. It doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good at all. But we do have a couple of things. I mean, honestly, could have been a lot worse. Let's see how this goes. If he's playing a good deck, we're dead. We need him to be playing a bad deck. Please be playing a bad deck. You never know. On Master Duel Ladder, it could be sweaty. It could be somebody that just got back into the game. But they are in gold, so maybe not. Oh! Are you kidding me? He just kaiju'd us. He kaiju'd our Raid Raptor card. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. He kaiju us. The good thing is we now have a 3k on our field. I mean, that doesn't feel too bad. Let's see what else he's going to do. Ah. Uh, that's not good. We can't do anything about that. We're in big trouble, guys. We're in big trouble. Gamma seal. Oh, wait. They special summon to our side. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we're not as dead as I thought. That's kind of good, I guess. Uh, Creation Resonator. Eight or higher synchro. You can special sell this card from your hand. Okay. It's a tuner, so what's he going to go into? Level 10? Oh, boy. Ah! Oh! oh, no. This is not good. This guy's going crazy right now. Oh, he's just going to straight up battle. He's just going to run us over with like 100 cards. Yeah, okay. That hurts. Yep, okay. These are kind of small though, so we're st still going to be alive. Assuming nothing crazy happens in main phase two. Or he doesn't have like a quick play that can do something. I think we're fine though. Oh my gosh. What? That would have been nice to have last turn. We could have negated that kaiju slumber. We actually would be in this game. Okay. I think we just normal summon this guy. Okay. We're going to bring out the fuzzy. Because we're tiny right now. We, what can we special? We can special summon this card. Uh, opponent's life points are 3,000 higher. You make this card gain 3,000 attack. When it destroys, you can match, match, battle, battle. You can detach any number of cards. Destroy the exact number of... That's pretty good, actually. Definitely 3,000 lower. So we could take out the Radiant, I think it's called. Yeah, then we could pop two of his monsters. We could set this Raid Raptor's Gust. We'd have a Negate. We'd have this. Actually, not terrible. I think that's what we go for. We're bringing out the Blade. What's he called? Blade something? <laughs> All right, bring him in. Fuzzy Lanius is also going to get us a search, which is pretty cool. The Blade Burner falcon we're gonna activate the effect i get to gain 3k that's it's gonna be huge it's 4,000 attack what wait what do i get to activate here oh yeah uh okay yeah i thought it was an auto activate uh i didn't mean to do that uh let's detach this one because that'll give us a search uh yeah that was not what i was really looking to do that was probably the wrong play but that's okay uh we're gonna set it didn't give us a search i don't know why it didn't give us a search that's fine battle let's go into it Misplays, you know, that's just how we go. Let's take out the Radiant. Okay, now we have to worry about tuners, potentially. Okay, we're going to activate the effect. Detach that. We're going to pop... I think we're going to pop the tuner, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this tuner, just so we don't have to worry about that. He probably has a rank 4 we have to worry about, too, as well, but... You know what? We're going to go with that. Let's go to main two. Add one Rage Raptor card from your deck to your hand, except... Okay, yeah, let's activate that. We get to add a card from our deck to our hand, which could be pretty important for next turn. So what do we want to add? Let's go with this one. So if we still do have this Raid Raptor on the board, we'll be able to special summon next turn. We're going to add that one. Oh, we can do this right now. Wait, how many Winged Beasts do we have? One, two... We could actually do this. Let's do this. I don't know why we can't special summon here. I'm really not sure, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. You guys let me know in the comments. We have Raptor's Gust, which is nice. So we can negate a Speller Trap. Uh, we have this, so we can't be destroyed by battle. I wish it was just card effects in general. That would be pretty good. Let's see what he can do. He's got two more cards. He's got Wandering King and Hat Tricker on the field. So we can make a rank four, probably. Almost definitely has one of those. Oh, what's he activating? Discard, add one. Oh, he's going to discard. He's going to have no cards left. He's going to have no cards left. We can negate it. Let's go! Raptor's Gust! Oh my gosh! Does he have anything he can activate in Grave? If he doesn't, he's completely out of resources. He can go into an XC's rank 4, though, which could be an issue. I mean, he's playing Kaiju, so there's a good chance he wouldn't, right? Oh no, it's as a graveyard effect. You manage to scrap from your graveyard, add a Kaiju from your deck to your hand. Oh no! The good thing is the Kaiju will be really big, and it's going to be hard for him to out if he doesn't, you know, do something with it. Yeah, he did kaiju us. Okay, makes sense. Uh, what does this one do? I'm not too upset about that. We have 2,400 attack. That's not the worst thing ever. He's going to go to battle. We will be able to save 
with our readiness. He's going for the Lanius. Uh, let's activate the readiness. Let's keep this alive. We want to put the pressure on next turn because he's going to have nothing left. Uh, no, I don't need to take no damage. We'll take the damage. All right, main two. What's he going to do? Go into a rank four. Oh, he's going to defense mode. In phase. Okay. Doesn't look like he's playing any rank fours. That's good. Let's see what we can draw. Dogmatic of Punishment. I mean, that's a good card, but I don't know if it's going to work too well right now. We've run, we've run out of extra deck cards. This is hilarious. Okay, we're going to go to battle. We're going to clear his field. Can we? Yeah, we can. Okay. Battle. He's going to be able to banish this card, though. Add a fiend type tuner, which is an issue. Uh, we got to do it, though. We got to clear it. We got to put some pressure on. Okay, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to go to main two. We're going to set the punishment. All right, the, good, the punishment does give us an interruption, though, which is nice. So let's see. Yep, he's getting a tuner. Makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Still don't feel good. Still don't feel good because we've used all of our ammo pretty much in terms of uh, extra deck. Oh, everything left is just uh, for pitching for Dogmatica. Okay, he's... Oh, the Crimson Resonator. Yep, that's a good card. Yeah, he gets a special summon it, right? He's setting. And ending. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive. Oh, my gosh. Sharp Lanius. Wait, it has to be face of attack. If it attacks, that's all I have to do. In any Raid Raptor? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, this guy has to be summoned. Even though we're not going to get the uh, summon effect, that's okay. So this is still this card, I think. Let's go to battle. Okay, we're going to go in with the... Do we want to go in with the Kaiju? He's playing sync smaller stuff, so I feel like 17 might be able to take it out. Uh, we're, That would do a 4K. Is that really going to matter? Let's just go in with this one. Yeah, it's small. I could have attacked with the others. That's fine. Um, let's go with this. He had double He had double tuners. That sucks. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> His field is on fire. That's really cool. Uh, let's activate effect. Target one Raid Raptor monster in your graveyard. Special summit. So we can bring back any of these, which is pretty cool. Basically, they're going to be vanillas because they're going to have no Xyz materials. So our biggest one is 2,000, 2,000. This guy would also get a potential search. Let's go with the 2K, just because he's a big body. A special summon it over here. We have the punishment option. We could make the rise falcon. We'll save that for potentially next turn. All right, let's end our turn. Let's see what he can do. He, we know he has the crimson. Is it crimson resonator? Yeah, we know he has that. Let's see what he can draw. We do have dogmatic punishment to potentially win us the game. Yes! We did it! Raid Raptor! Janky deck! Let's go! Oh my goodness, I was not expecting to win that. Uh, is there any way that I, I should play to make the deck a little better? Or should we just go with these janky decks every time and see like what we can do? Because we did win, I guess. So I really shouldn't maybe complain about the deck. It worked out pretty good. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more Master Duel stuff, it doesn't have to be this specifically. Give me some ideas in the comments. Let me know because we will be doing more cool stuff like this. And of course, the normal openings will still be coming. Shout out to TC Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike, Nance, Mimic, Gecko, Duelist King Cards, Spanky McFarlane, G-Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.